Oh shit. What up? What up? It's Big Corey. Hey, I got another idea from a little podcast, right? It's a Big Corey's podcast. This week I planned on doing something called uh ass whoopings of the week. I was gonna do that shit just with football, linemen and shit like that, different things that make the game different. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. I call myself a little fake working out for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I put this white beater on, it wasn't fitting right. So I went and did like five quick little push-ups. Nigga, I'm sweating because I'm big. <laughs> anyway, I'm watching this uh, Ass Whoopings of the Week. And it's it's the University of Houston and Texas Tech. And this shit did not go how I thought it was going to go. When I started watching the game, it was halfway through the second quarter. Okay. I started watching the game halfway through the second quarter. Houston was up 14-7. to seven, And they were starting to drive. And I could see why they were up. Their offensive line, the offensive tackle got into a little half of fake fight. You know what I'm saying? He got into a fight with the defensive end, number 19. Number 19 was doing something in offensive lineman. Whatever it was, there was a whole bunch of extra shit going on, tussling. He threw him to the ground. And uh, he was doing all this extra shit, threw a punch or something. And nobody got flags. It was no flags. And at that point, I think it was a tone setter, right? Every play after that, Number 72, I think it was on offense. Number 72 was 77. Number 72 on Houston, completely dominating this dude at first. It's what it looked like, completely dominating him. He's grabbing this dude. He's walking three yards away from the play and just shaking his ass around. Just to do the shit. Just to show that he could do the shit. It was fucked up. And so what was happening is they drove straight down the field on their ass and scored. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, fuck, now it's 21-7. Now, it's going to be a long night. And, you know, a similar thing was happening on the other side of the ball. But, no, the opposite thing was happening. They were getting edge pressure crazy, crazy. They were always getting to the quarterback. Bam, bam. I'm like, fuck. This going to be a fucking 48-7 to seven game. Something happens, right? Houston gets the ball back, and their quarterback, Toon, they're doing the same shit. I mean, it's the same offensive line dominance. The tackles are killing them. The guards in the center, not so much. They're killing them. And the quarterback throws an interception. Throws a fucking pick six. Now it's 21-14. Whatever, right? Because they're physically dominating the game. Whatever. It's the third quarter now. They can still ride this shit out. So what happens is Texas Tech hits the ball. Momentum's changing a little bit. They're feeling themselves. They still got to kick the ball. They give it back to Houston. Houston's quarterback throws another motherfucking interception. Another one. It's the third quarter. It's six minutes left. There's really no reason to be doing that. They could run the ball to victory because they're dominating these dudes up front. But here's the difference. Texas Tech made some adjustments at halftime and throughout the game. They knew their defensive ends were getting dominated. And what they were doing is almost allowing them to get dominated. Now these rushers are rushing wide. And now they're playing tackle games up front with the guards and the centers. They're overloading people. So when that tackle takes that man out three yards to feed his fucking ego and shake him around, what they were doing, they are just putting a delayed blitz right there in that hole. Or they were slanting the line right there, overloading it. So it doesn't matter that that guy was completely dominating him. It don't matter. He took him out the game. And so now... Texas Tech is pressuring the fuck out of them. Another motherfucking interception. And they're scoring on these drives now. And here's the difference. Because the Texas Tech offensive coordinator recognized. He was like, fuck, man, these edge pressures, they're killing us. And he adjusted his game to some inside zone game. And he adjusted his game so that those edge players were not affecting him. And they end up winning that fucking game. They end up winning that game. Texas Tech won. I think they won by 10 points anyway, but they won a game where Houston was completely physically dominating them early on. And something changed. The momentum changed. And Texas Tech, their wide receiver, number 13. I know I don't talk about receivers and shit because that's not my shit. But that motherfucker is bad as hell. He won the game. He won the game. All they did was just kept chucking it up to him. He'd catch it and go. And then after they got the lead, they start running the ball out like Houston was supposed to do. Houston lost this game because of ego or whatever. They said they was going to wreck Tech or some shit. Texas Tech fucked you up for no good reason. Your players were bigger, stronger, and faster. 
and you have the lead. I don't understand how they lost. I'm not a fan of either team, and I'm not talking shit. I don't know how they lost the fucking game. They decided to lose the game because they decided to put the, the game in the hands of the quarterback that was turning the ball over. At one point in time, he had four passes, and two of them were interceptions. Nigga, stop it. Run the ball. Ass whooping of the week should go to the head coach because he should get his ass whooped. 